I'm a little butterflies and this video is gonna be my February TBR. Okay you guys, since I had such of a good read in my in January, this month I want to strive to read at least as many books as I did in January, which was four books. Hopefully I can do that. So I have three physical books I want to read and then I have one art that I got from that gala that comes out at the end of this month. So I'm really going to try to read that book last so that way I can do my review closer to its release date. So the first book that I want to read this month and also it's a book that I've already started to read is The Feeling Boyfriend by Casey West. This book is a young adult contemporary book and it's followed this girl named Gia. Her boyfriend name is Bradley and he dumps her in the parking lot of her prom right before they go in. The issue is that Gia had been telling her friends all about Bradley and um, they didn't really believe her because they never met him. And since he dumped her, the pressure was on her because she didn't want her friends to think that she was a liar. So basically she sees this guy sitting in, her, in his truck in the parking lot and she asks him to go home and change and to be and to pretend to be her boyfriend Bradley which this stranger agrees. Now so far in the book I don't know his name it's just basically his name is stranger or uh, supposed to be Bradley. And the issue is in the book that after prom the Bradley that she's thinking about is the stand in Bradley and not her actual ex boyfriend Bradley. And also the issue is apparently at the prom she never got his, she ended up never getting his real name so there's no way for her to even contact him, no name, no number. She tries to track him down and also she owes him a favor so Stanley and Bradley's sister tells her she, since she owes her brother a favor she has to be his, his like pretend girlfriend at his ex-girlfriend's graduation party and just when Gia thinks that she can turn her fake Bradley into her real boyfriend the real Bradley comes back into the picture and that pretty much jeopardizing everything which is exposing her lie threatening her friendship actually with her friends and also the love that she might have rekindling with the stand-in Bradley now I am 35 pages into this so far the only complaint I have is that my initial reaction to Gia was that she was this spoiled little brat that gets everything she wants and that's that's the only thing I hate because I don't like people like that so I don't like that in a character especially a main character but that's just my initial you know view of her um so far it has kind of you know changed and I kind of understand why she is the way she is but still I feel like she worried about other people opinion too much but so far this book is pretty good and I hope I actually finish liking it since a lot of people say they actually have enjoyed this book I hope hopefully at the end of this book I can say that I enjoy it also the second book that I want to read this morning I've had this book for a really freaking long time like since before I started making book two videos and that is Delirium by Lauren Oliver so with this book I don't even know the girl names who is followed but I'm imagining it's this girl on the cover but um, it's set in this dystopian fantasy world where love is actually a disease and when um, you know children make 18 or sometimes they have to wait till they get older they have to get this care for love and I think if they don't get the care for love they die but what happens is when she after she gets the care of love I think when she actually gets the care for love she starts to actually feel feelings for someone she actually starts to start to feel love anyway and I think that's going to be the big issue in this story it's been a while since I read a dystopian novel like this actually like thinking about it this kind of reminds me of Match which I read a while ago so it's been a while since I read a dystopian novel similar to this so I can't actually, I really can't wait to read this it's really been sitting on my shelf my my fear with this book is that a lot it's going to happen to me how it has happened to a lot of people and I, I've heard a lot of people say they liked the first book and then the second and the third book they didn't like. Hopefully I can enjoy this book because it sounds really good. You know, love being a care and oh my god you have to get a care for love. That sounds fucking great or I'm going to get killed if I feel like I love someone. So yeah, I definitely want to read this. I hope I, hope I get to it and I hope I actually like this book. Because I'm going to be so disappointed if I hate this book. I really am. My feelings going to be really burnt and hurt. The third book that I want to read this month is Scarlet by Marissa Maya and this is the second book in the Luna Chronicles series so I want to continue the series and then after this I want to have to go buy the other two books. Yeah and this book is supposed to be a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood and it follows this girl named Scarlet and her grandmother goes missing and the guy that might know um, information about her grandma's disappearance is this guy named Wolf. Little Red Riding Hood, Wolf. 
yeah so they team up to unravel the mystery and they start to feel things for each other and also cinder comes back into this story at some point in this book all three of them are going to be together and they're going to be traveling and stay out of the reach of queen La lavanya's I, I think that's how you pronounce her name i'm not sure but the lunar queen they're going to be trying to stay out of her her reach because she was stopped at nothing at all to get rid of to get rid of them and to make sure Prince Kai is her king. So this sounds like this is gonna be another really good action filled book and I can't wait to read this book. Like honestly, I really cannot wait. This shit has me so excited. This series has me so excited. And oh my god, you guys, like another book that I actually like don't really have with me right now. Like I don't have right now. I don't own it yet. And I'm like, can't wait till it come out. It's freaking King's Cage is going to be the last book in the Red Queen trilogy. And I'm still not ready for the last book, you guys. I'm really not. I cannot wait to get to that book. Though. Like, I'm fucking excited. But I don't want this. I'm not ready for that trilogy to end at all. Like, seriously. I'm not. And the last book that I have that I want to read at the end of this month. It isn't. It's an art that I got from Nagali. And it doesn't come out until February 21st. Until February 24th. So I want to wait and read this book last so that way when I do my review it's closer to its actually actual release date. And I hope this book is good and I hope this does not disappoint me the same way that Love and Gravity did. Because to me this is like I'm excited for this and it's also a YA fantasy series and I just I cannot wait. I, I, this sound it sounds really good so hopefully when I read it it, it actually lives up to the synopsis that it has. It is going to be a first book in a series called Shakespeare's Moon. So just that. It's like I, I don't think I've ever read any kind of like, you know, like YA which for Shakespeare. I don't think I have. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I have. So this book is about this boy named Sam and he just started life at a boarding school. And he finds himself able to travel back in time to Scotland. So see, this is another book that has time traveling and I know time traveling books can be really great if the author does it correctly. So I hope this one turns out way better than Love and Gravity did. While at the boarding school, he meets this girl named Lena who can travel to the future. And then two of them become wrapped up in these events of Shakespeare's play. Now this first book follows the play Macbeth. And in this series, each book is going to be set, it's still going to be set in the boarding school that they're in, but each each book is going to follow a different Shakespeare's play and oh my god when we read Macbeth my senior year in high school I didn't think I was going to like it like I thought I thought it was going to be like really boring but it was so good like I actually I actually really liked it I can't say that it probably wouldn't have been something I would have read on my own so having to read it at school I'm glad that that's a book that they made me read because I know it wouldn't have been a book I picked up on my own but it was like really good so I can't wait to see how they like do this time traveling thing tied into this Macbeth thing. I wonder how, I can't wait to see how this author is going to do it. Oh my god, I, got, I think I sit here and talked about the book and didn't even say the name of the book. The name of the book is called The Invisible Hand by James Hartley. I can't believe I almost forgot to say that. And the book comes out on February 24th. So around that time, a little bit before that, you got can expect my review because hopefully this one I really do want to start recording my reviews again because I did like having my review videos on my channel but lately I've been posting them to my blog and I, my blog is linked in the description box below so you guys can definitely go and look at my blog and see the reviews that I have up there that's something I just started in December so it's not going to have everything that I've read just the books that I started um, that I was reading in December I think the first review that I have on there was the accident season and I think that was the first book I finished in December. So you guys could definitely go and look at my blog. Definitely go check it out and look at my reviews, get my opinion on things to see if I recommend anything you guys or not. So you guys, those are all of the books that I want to read this month in February. Not necessarily, I don't know necessarily what order I'm going to read them in. I know for sure I'm already reading The Feeling Boyfriend. I don't know what book I'm going to read next out of Delirium and Scarlet. I'm not sure yet. And I might throw in another book that I have on my shelf it's called 37 Things I Love in No Particular Order. So um, I might throw that book in there too just because it's February, it's Valentine's Day and all of that stuff. So, you know, I'm trying to have some mushy reads, you know, some love, some love stories. This is the month when I'm welcoming the mushiness. So you guys, let me know below in the comments what books you plan on reading in the month of February. And if you have read any of the books that I plan on reading this month and give me your opinion on them. No spoilers. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.